here. Come on into the room and join us for a second. <laughs> welcome back to Paranormal Resident and welcome to Claire's house. This Georgian style house is located in County Dublin. It dates back to the late 1800s. Hidden away down a narrow lane, this hidden gem is a rare find. Does a long forgotten paranormal resident remain inside its decaying walls? Paranormal Resident teams up with Amy, Carlo and David of Paranormal Adventures Ireland to investigate. Seemingly haunted by the spirit of an elderly woman called Claire, who passed away in her bedroom on the top floor. Her hospital bed and personal items left behind, a life forgotten until now. Claire likes to follow you home and is not shy when it comes to visitors. First we explore and see for the first time inside Claire's home, then as night falls we investigate. Will Claire make you believe? Stay tuned to find out. Okay guys, we got into the house. We're just gonna have a look around first before we start anything. It's awesome, guys, it's Incredibly large and creepy. Oh. Whoa. Are you afraid to show me already? Western nappies. Headless statue, never a good thing. That's her, is it? That's, her. That's Claire. Think. Oh, the tellies. Morph. How many uh, living rooms do you need? That's crazy. Whew. Can we go up? Watch the floor. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Oh wow. Whoa. 
This is upstairs, guys. Who's downstairs? Oh, it's David not under. <laughs> There's a bird in the house. <laughs> There's a bird in the house. Uh oh, God, okay, be careful. Oh my God. So guys, I'm just trying to show you of, as much of the house as I possibly can. Sacred Heart Pictures. Whoa. Okay guys, so that is the top floor. So what we're doing guys, we're sitting down in uh, one of the living rooms I suppose and we're going to call out. We're going to remain quiet for a bit, get used to the house and see if they want to respond to us. So Carlo you go first. Hi Claire, I'm Kieran. I mean you no harm. I came from Tipperary to see you. If you want to communicate with me, please do so. Make a loud noise for me if you can. Hi Claire, I'm David. We're just uh, looking to communicate to give a bit more information on it. We don't mean any harm, any disrespect in house, so if you could communicate back to us, we much appreciate it. Hi Claire, I'm Amy. If there's any spirits here, can you copy me? Claire, if you're here and you want us to leave, I'm going to knock twice. If you can knock twice for yes, once for no, then we can communicate and you can let us know if you want us to leave or not. If you understand, please either knock once for no or twice for yes now. 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 One. You don't understand. Do you know why we're here? Claire, 
Claire, if that's really you, knock twice for me, please. Or if your name's not Claire, we apologize. Is your name really Claire? Claire, come on into the room and join us for a second. Is there a rat? Something just literally grabbed my love handle like there was no tomorrow. No, there's rats. There <laughs> I went. No, something touched me. Something touched me. Just before something touched you, that went red. I know. I hate when someone touches someone else, but I never say it. And that was really. That was a proper like invasion. Like that, you know, like saying, you know, lose some weight, chunky, you know. We were sitting there the other day. You hear about screwing on the floor. Claire, if that was you, can you knock twice for me? Claire, if you remember me, could you please knock twice? Claire, I get the feeling you don't want us in your house, and that's understandable. We just kind of came in unannounced, but we don't mean you any harm. And if you do, say, show yourself, knock on things, cause a bit of activity, we will go. But we will stay longer, the longer you don't cause any activity. That's all we're looking for, is just a sign that there is an afterlife. You're a religious woman. Interestingly guys, the device you see in the circle is actually David's voice recorder and when we went back to collect our equipment, his screen was broken. Um, you're a religious woman and I'm sure you taught or wondered about the afterlife in your last days. We just want proof. So if you can maybe come close, use your voice and talk to us, that would be amazing.
Do you like to sing? Could you sing for us? And I don't mean, I'm not saying it as if you're a performing monkey. I know, I don't mean it like that, okay? Copy me. Mm -hmm. Are you on the stairs by any chance? Can you knock on the stairs if you are or step real loudly? Slam a door. We left two REM pods, one at the top of the stairs and one in your bedroom. Could you please walk over and touch one of them for us, please? If you touch that REM pod, it'd be amazing. It's the black box on your hospital bed. Closest to the door. Claire, there's an EMF on the stairs. Can you turn that green LED red? That green LED red the light. Please <laughs> the green light to red if you can. Thank you. Could you do it again? Thank you. Just come close to it. What's it like on the other side? Okay, seemingly there's a ghost called Davish here. If there is, Davish, can you come and say hello to us? Why does that name sound familiar? Okay. <laughs> there is a spirit called Davish here. If you could please walk over and touch that device that's on the stairs. Can you knock again for us? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ, Amy. Would you like us to go upstairs? Could you please make a light up? Where did she say she was replaced at night? Is there a female spare here? Could we walk towards the light? Make a light. Okay guys, so we're just going back in to check in the cameras. And we're still recording.
Hello. Can you tell me your name? Your name? Your name? If there's any spirits here, can you tell me how many spirits are in the room with us now? Or in the house? Eleven? Is there a... Can say one of our names, please? David twice. <laughs> Do you like Davis? Would you like David to be left in a room by himself? There's Sarah. My name is Amy. Can you say my name? Can we hear your voice? Should we be here? He wants us to stay. If you want us to... If you want us to... If you want us to leave, can you please say leave? Not in the humor. It's a very country thing to say. I'm not in the humor for it. Are you male or female? I thought it said my own business. I thought that. No, I thought that. Would you live in this house? For can you tell me what religion you are? It's the same woman coming through, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Water. Water. 
The tennis man, the prayer says in that picture that I bought the prayer place says. Somebody, oh sorry, go ahead. Did somebody used to sleep in this room? How many children did you rear? Seems to be a man that's quite angry. Yeah, that's my brother. Is there an angry man here with us? Get out now. That was very weird. That was odd. Did not sound like any radio station I've ever heard. Is your name Dom? Dominic? Come on over. She's talking to him. Remember I said I thought the husband was here? And he's not very nice. Was this your house? How many children did you have? Temperature has dropped, yeah. It was 18.7, no, 70.4. It was 18.7 when it came in. We don't mean any harm, we're just here to communicate with you. Remember Carlo? Did you follow us when we left here last time? Did you feel that? That's something. I found this spirit box session very interesting. It wasn't just saying random words, it was saying words relevant to the house and the story behind it. It was very, very creepy. Okay, so we're in a room by ourselves.
just the spirit here in this room with us. Can you throw something for us? from the corner. If that was you, can you make it louder? Copy me. If I whistle, can you whistle back? Can I hear your voice? If you're in the room with Amy, can you touch Amy? We mean you no harm. It almost sounds like it's in a different house, like there's a house that attached to this, but there are, it's hard to explain how it sounds. Like we know it's on the landing, but the this sound is disjointed or something. It's in the air. Someone said to me they don't actually knock, um, they actually click their fingers and it sends a change in the atmosphere to make a snapping sound. So I might try that. If you're here, can you copy me? Again? Oh, something touched the back of Amy's neck. I just asked out for that. You bitch. <laughs> okay, I'm all alone in a creepy room. Okay guys, so I'm all alone in here in the Jesus room. If there's any spirits here, can you close the door for me? David, if whoever shunned that light, you're a dickhead. Is there somebody there? Don't you stir, it's Carlo. I fucking knew it, I could sense him. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching Paranormal Resident. If you could, make sure to like and subscribe. 
we're gonna head, we're gonna get out of here and um yeah, this place is crazy. It was amazing guys. Until next time. Bye. Thanks so much for watching Paranormal Resident. Make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all linked down below. And make sure to follow Paranormal Adventures Ireland, linked down below. We left Claire's house with more questions than answers, but it was one hell of an investigation. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until the next time, stay safe.